I'm Coach Tom Yankello. Don't forget to subscribe to my World Class Boxing Channel. Today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use side steps and pivots in a shadow boxing drill. And all the drills that I do on the pads can be shadow boxed, just to let you guys understand that. And also vice versa, anything we do shadow boxing can be used on can be used as a pad work drill. And today we're gonna to show you shadow boxing. We're gonna break down the steps. It's gonna be 18 step drill. And Danny's gonna demonstrate. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is Danny's gonna throw the one, two hook. When he throws the one, two hook, he took a step with the left foot and the right foot, and then when he threw, after he got done throwing his right hand, he throws the hook of where he was planted after he threw his one, two. So do that part again. You're going one, two, and then throws the hook. Okay, two steps. Now he's gonna sidestep diagonally, okay? And he's going three, four, and he's throwing a left hook to the body. Okay, now from right there, he's gonna pivot, that back leg is gonna pivot, and then he's gonna replant his lead leg up and over, five, six. Okay, now he's going to the uppercut hook. That's it. Now he's going to shift back over to his right, seven, eight. Okay, and he's going to throw a left hook to the body, right hand to the head. Okay, now he's going to sidestep again diagonally, and that's going to be nine, ten. And he's going to throw a right hook to the body. And then he's, after he throws that right hook to the body, he's going to shift again, 11, 12, and throw a right uppercut, left hook. Okay? Now, off of that, we're going to make, we're going to put some more defense in there. And just to give you guys something extra, and you're always putting that head moving in. So this is also not just pivoting and sidestepping. It is actually moving your, moving your head and defensive drill as well. So, okay. Um, Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe so I can keep on bringing out these great videos for you guys. And I uh, really appreciate all your guys' support. So what he's doing off of that right there is he's going, he's going to roll with the hook, roll with the right hand, and then he's going to slip again. If a guy threw a double right hand, and he's going to weave with the hook. When he weaves with the hook, he's going, he's going 13, and then he's going 14. When he did that, when he did 14, okay, he's going to drop the shoulder. He's going to go boom, boom, here, under. Now he's going to take that and he's going to drop the shoulder at the same time he took that step right there, okay? Now he's going 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 steps right he's doing right there. So we'll go through it. Go through it again, Danny. One, two. That's the steps, okay? Now he's going three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now he's going defense. Thirteen, fourteen. Then he's going to step again. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Beautiful. Okay, now if you put that in fast motion, what is he doing? Good, good, do it again. Good. Um. guys got to make sure when you're doing this drill is that you're moving your feet in the angles you got to have the imagination of, of your opponent where your opponent's at and what you're doing so like just to give you a little demonstration on like what he's doing when he's throwing those shots if he's one two hook okay now when he's stepping over he's stepping over here to me see he's hit me there 
Okay, now where's he gonna go from there? He's gonna go there, right back up the middle, okay? And let's say, uh, yeah, now that's where he wants to be there. Boom, boom, okay? Now he's gonna step over there, so he's throwing a hook out to the outside here. Now he's coming back up the middle, okay? Now he's got his defense, defense, defense. Now he's stepping there, there, and now he's going here, here, and he's taking it there, see? So that's the angles that you gotta think about what you're trying to do when he, when he throws a one-two hook. Okay, now he's stepping up and over. So he's on this side of the guy. He's looking for the liver shot, right? Now he's gonna, now he's gonna look for the solar plex shot. Back with a hook, okay? Then from there, he's coming back this way, throw another solar plex shot. Now he's gonna step over here to get the short rib, okay? Now he's coming there with an uppercut hook, okay? Now he got his defense in there. He goes here, now he steps over, drops down, he could go back there, that's it. He can go, depending upon where the guy moves, we're putting a little footwork where he's stepping over, but you're going back to the body. But the angles are where you want to move your feet. You know, you don't want to move your feet, like when he throws a one-two hook, you're not going to step over there. You know what I mean? No, after you throw the one-two hook, you're not going to step over there. You're going to step up and over. You know what I mean? You're stepping. You're not going like one, two hook and stepping all the way over there. No, you've got to step up and over, okay? So you're going up and over. Those are up and over moves, right? Okay. So, and, and the other one is when you're going here, when you go over there to throw the short, that's over there. See, so it's up and over. So there's a great shadow boxing drill for you guys. And like I said, you could practice that anywhere, not just in the gym because all you need is you. So don't, you know, make sure you guys uh, break those steps down, do it right. It's, you know, try to do everything with, you know, surgical-like precision. And that's the key to being successful and, and really being great at something, okay? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate all your guys' support. Go to the website, worldclassboxinggym.com. Get on the email list as well. You see all my social media links there. Follow me on all those. And... Uh, I'll see you guys next time.